Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Grandmaster Rod with Shim Young Do TV. All right, guys, just want to share a little bit of what's going on. I um, hope everybody, first of all, most of all, everybody's safe, staying home, staying, making sure that you are not going out if you don't really have to, okay, to stay um, away from anybody that can possibly have the sickness, uh, and then you bring it home and... and, and contaminate other people in your home as well so that's why it's important that we stay home uh only go out for the essentials that we need and only one person you don't have to have all of you go out at the same time uh it's important it's i, I mean let me get first into what what um i saw tonight i just finished watching the um white house briefing of today the president's briefing of today okay and it's important to watch. Some people ask me, but why do you watch that? It's you know, it's the same thing every day. It's all it's all about how bad the situation is and how worse it's going to get. Um, it's important to know, but at the same time, it's important not to develop fear over what they're saying. Okay, um, everything we heard or hear every single time, it's to scare us. I mean, they don't do it on purpose. Sometimes they might do it on purpose so that we listen to what they're saying, but it is, it's, it's all fear that, that's coming our way. It's all negativeness, um, but it's important that we hear it. Now, what we do with that is what makes a difference in our life. You know, and I'll give you an example. When I was a, a competitor uh, when in New York, not, not here in Florida, but when I was a competitor in New York, and uh, I was young, I was maybe 14, 15, and competing in the adults division, which was 18 and over, um, I would have to sit in the ring and, and on the sidelines and watch the fights before me. Uh, and it was scary. You know, here I'm watching these grown men, you know, from 18 years up to 30, 40 years old, fighting and um, pounding on each other hard. And here I am, a skinny little 14-year-old kid um, going to compete against these guys. So I was afraid. But one thing I learned that my teacher always told me, he says, never be afraid of your enemy. Always be educated by your enemy. In other words, watch him in action and learn what his mistakes are or learn what his good deeds are so that you don't um, crash into those uh, techniques that he has that are good and avoid them. And then where his weak spots are is where you attack and you counterattack. Okay? So fear is a good thing if you know how to use it to your benefit. Now, how can we tie that story into today? Well, again, give you my example. Am I afraid? Yes. You know, going to lose my school? Yes, but if I plan, if I plan now and I don't wait until the last minute, then I could lose the physical building of a school, but I won't lose the students. Students will be there. Students will follow me as long as I'm honest, as long as I'm giving, as long as I'm teaching and educating, and they can benefit from all that. Students will be there. Students will follow me whether it's online or in a, uh, a storefront or um, by book, by video, I don't know. But as long as you do good things, people will follow you and good things will come to you, okay? So plan, whatever your business is, whatever, whatever your occupation is, whatever your situation is right now, plan. Plan for what are you going to do when this is all over? It's not going to be over in a week. It's not going to be over in a month. This is for longer. This is going to take a few months before we can get back to not even normality. Because, I mean, it's going to take a long time before we get to back to normality. Okay? How many people aren't going to lose their jobs? Or how many people already? They said something like 3 million people applied for unemployment in the last two weeks. Three million people lost their jobs, okay? It's going to affect the economy. So you need to plan. What are you going to do? Instead of staying home and just 
playing around and watching TV all day and, you know, the soap operas and las novelas. And no, you've got to plan. What am I going to do? For those of you who have work, okay, fine. But if it goes longer, will your companies that you work for still be around? Or will they decide to lay off people? Plan. Don't stay comfortable. When you stay comfortable, you end up going down. There's no such thing as staying status. Something's either going up or something's coming down. It goes like this. Right? Or it goes like this. It doesn't stay. There's no hanging time, what we call in, in basketball. Or, or yeah, in basketball, we call it hanging time. Right? It looks like it. Right? Oh, wow, look, he looks like he's staying in the air. No, he went up and he comes down. Whatever goes up comes down. It's a law of gravity. So don't stay in that comfort zone. You've got to be moving, moving. What am I doing? What am I going to do? How am I going to progress? What's my next step? If I have a business, how am I going to get it off the ground again? If I lose everything. If I don't, how am I going to recover everybody? You know, what are you going to do? You have two choices with this. We're facing fear. Are you going to face fear and battle it? Or are you going to ignore it and let it go by? If you ignore it and wait until it passes, when it's your time, it's going to take longer because you weren't prepared. You just waited. You did nothing. If you face it now, Accept it and go ahead and plan for when it's over, you'll be ahead of the game. You'll be prepared more than anybody else. All right, that's my message for everybody. This is Grandmaster Rod with Shimiongdo TV. Lots of blessings. Please stay safe. I love you all. All righty. Bye-bye.